Okay, a uh, little bit of a different kind of video today. We are doing a countdown here to 2 million subscribers. So we are two away. The suspense is building. Final two, and that's it. <laughs> 2 million subscribers. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Well, this channel just hit 2 million subscribers. It only cost me my entire social life, meaningful relationships, and most of my mental health. Okay. In all honesty, um, I'm making this video to say thank you. Because of all of you, this channel has just hit uh, a pretty staggering 2 million subscribers. I can't even begin to explain how grateful I am uh, that you're willing to hear my take on things happening in politics. My goal in starting this channel was always twofold. It was to combat right-wing disinformation, which even way back when I started this channel was running rampant and um, things haven't really changed that much on that front. But the second reason is because I wanted to make politics more accessible for people. And I hope that's what I've been able to do to some small degree. The fact is that even today, Republicans rely on obfuscating the facts because they know it'll push people away and that benefits Republicans. Republicans rely on showcasing that government doesn't work, like they're trying to do right now at this very moment by pushing us toward default, because they know that a perpetually broken government will push people away, which again benefits Republicans. Republicans rely on adopting that Steve Bannon approach of flooding the zone with shit, because then you don't know what's real or what's fake, and that confusion will push people away, and that benefits Republicans. There is a reason why we see so much disinformation and obfuscation and outright lies. It's not an accident, it is a strategy and it works. But the way to overcome it is to make sure the people are engaged and informed and to recognize that politics isn't something that you pay attention to once every four years, that it's something that you work to improve every day. And we've seen the consequences of not being engaged. We've watched as unaccountable right-wingers have stripped women of their bodily autonomy by overturning Roe. We've watched as they've waged relentless attacks on young LGBT people. We've watched as they've banned books and punished businesses for not towing the party line and stripped voting rights from people. But the flip side is what happens when we do stay engaged and turn out and win. Where we've seen Democrats win, they've protected abortion rights, they've stood up for unions, they've raised the minimum wage, they've protected the climate and moved away from fossil fuels, they've passed common sense gun safety laws. All of which is to say that this stuff is within our grasp, but we've got to stay engaged because none of this happens in a vacuum. This happens when we are paying attention and voting. So again, thank you. I'm still in partial disbelief at the fact that some dude shooting political videos at home could reach the sheer number of people that I've been able to reach, but I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time out of your day. I appreciate you putting your trust in me. I don't take that for granted in the slightest, and I appreciate you listening to my take on things. And finally, here's my promise for you. If we can reach 3 million by November of 2024, I will finally answer the one question that I get more than any other question. Do I wear pants in these videos? But until that question is answered, I'll leave you with this once more. Thank you, thank you, thank you.